Guys, welcome back to Cast TV. We are here at Ultima Dubs 2022 for the show season opener. Stoked to be here. We've got a huge stand here with Airlift Performance. We've also got our sister company, The Tuning Store, and Slam Sanctuary, who are debuting the brand new spring summer collection. We'll throw up a link below where you can buy that now online. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what 2022 has in store for us. So follow me and I'll take you around the show. Guys, you know we love an E30 M3 here on Cast TV. Of course, we've got Radges that has just been featured on the channel. He's had his carbon airbox put on recently. And we also featured Nick Zahota's E30 M3, Purist as it's known. If you haven't seen the video on this, we'll put a link below. But we did a full sort of walk around with Nick about this car. He's actually running the original OZ wheels. He had eight years ago here at Ultimate Dubs. Eight years ago, he debuted this car. It was the first E30 M3 on airlift performance. People were like, what the hell are you doing, man? Bagging an E30 M3. He was the first person to do it, at least in the UK, running these wheels. So really nice to get that car back here on the airlift performance stand. What would you go for? If you had an E30 M3, would you go for Rotoform LHRs or more of a race look, OZ racing wheel? Let us know. I prefer the Bugattis that were on it after that and also the Type 2s that were on it after that. Although that's a cool like racing DTM look, which is the look he originally wanted to go for, it was a DTM inspired car. So it, they work perfectly for that in that sense. It does look badass. You don't like Rages though? I like Rages, but I think he should update some BBS. I think it's a BBS RS time. Do you think so? I think so. <laughs> Guys, you probably saw this on our last Cars and Coffee video. Harry's insanely cool Mercedes-Benz R129. Of course, running airlift performance suspension. He's got some custom Mercedes wheels, so custom centers, which he's got lips and barrels for, and he's gone for arched lip fitment. Perfect fitment. You know I love arched lip fitment. This car has got it going on. It's also a really, really cool paint color. I'm not sure what color paint coat this is, but it's got an insane sort of different look to it. In different lights, the, color, the blue looks very different. But people have been eyeballing this car all week, and as soon as it drove in, people were just like gobsmacked, fully gobsmacked, because it is, it's such a clean build. So Harry, Harry's just told me this is one of 75, 40th anniversary R129, so this is actually factory paint. I thought it was all custom, but it's factory paint. Pretty cool. I thought Nick's would be the only bright orange car on our stand. However, we've found another one. We've got Ryan. He's got a gorgeous F80 M3 and another crazy orange color. He's running some WCI wheels, airlift performance. Really cool car. You don't often see people change the interiors much on an F80 M3. As you can see, he's running buckets. He's got a cage in here, custom steering wheel, loads of carbon going on. I think it's really cool. It's, it's pretty different for an F80 M3. What do you guys think? Would you prefer a clip, you know, like a more OEM plus car or would you do something like this? I just think this is pretty cool because it's different. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, what do you guys think of the car? I think it's stunning. It's just something a bit different. It's got all the carbon bits going on. Real nice. Arch to lip fitment. Love it. Of course, it's not all BMWs. We have to get an Audi on the stand. TJ's stunning RS4. Look at the color of this. How can you not like this color? Custom rotor forms, so three piece rotor forms going on. I think the gold complements the paint color so nicely. It's just like spot on. I'm, as you guys probably know, I'm a wagon guy. I love a wagon, especially a fast wagon. RS4 is like, Ideal daily slash show car slash all in one. I mean, I love the interiors on these too. He's got a custom carbon steering wheel, carbon everywhere. This thing must be so comfortable to drive, man. I'm really jealous of this car. If I had to pick an Audi, it would be this. What do you guys think? What's your favorite wagon? BM wagon or Audi wagon? What would you go for? Let me know.
we've actually got two BMW E36s on the stand. As you've probably seen in a previous video, Raj has debuted his E36 M3. However, we've also got my mate Carlos. He's driven up from Southampton. He has a stunning white example. I've known this car for five, six years now, and I've seen it go through several different guises. First thing you might not, well, only the true E36 guys will, will notice this, will pick up on it. He's actually had custom rear arches welded into the rear. I think they're front, they're either front E46 arches, that's probably what they are. They've been welded on, painted by custom colors. So he's got this arch to lip fitment without wrecking his arches. Sits beautifully. He's gone through a lot of, a lot of pain and suffering to get to this point, but it's looking spot on finally, I think. 80 Schnitzer Type 1s, 17 inch, whereas Ranch is running a Type 2, 18 inch. So nice to see a variation, how you can do an E36 really, but this car's stunning. He is a BMXer, he works for Profile, the BMX company. So he's got a brand new shiny BMX, he had to show that off here. I think it's cool, man. He's running Vader interior, got a custom shifter, so I believe the car's actually a 323. However, he's got M50 manifold, so it's pretty much running the same power as a 328. Drives real nice, it's got lots of power to it. It keeps up with most cars, to be fair, and he drives it hard, which is cool to see. Even with the stancy fitment, he drives the car hard, which is cool. Another cool little touch are the uh, ACS mirrors to match the wheels. These are, these are pretty rare in the E36 world, so real nice little touch. A lot of people really notice the, the rear wing, which is, again, pretty rare. It is a BMW factory part, pretty rare. Do you think Raj should run one on his? Drop a comment if you think he should run one. Me and Palm are trying to get him to get one. I don't know, what do you guys think? I love it. It's, it's kind of, it's a little bit as both without going too over the top. I think it's like a nice medium. So yeah, Carlos's E36, I love it. However, Super cool that we managed to get Raj's car here. So his is an E36 M3 Evo, running 18 inch AC Schnitzer Type 2s, eight and a half and nine and a half. So it's a little bit less aggressive than Carlos's fitment on his car. He's running 17s, the car's a little bit lower because of that, and he's got the custom arches. However, with Raj's car, we've gone for more of a fast road. It's a little bit more usable for Raj. He can go off on long drives. He can give the car, you know, some beans without worrying. Uh, we've gone for some pretty reasonable tires. So we've gone for like a 225-35 and a 245-35 on the rear. So it's, it's not gonna be bad to drive. It's actually gonna be really comfortable to drive. So once we get some rear camber arms, we'll also be able to be tucking this lip probably quite a bit more. And the same with the front, we're just gonna add a little bit of camera to the front to get that coming in a little bit further. So we will be able to get the car very slightly lower. But until then, I think like, it really is a, a really nice, clean example of an E36 M3 Evo, especially with the color combination. You've seen the interior in the previous episodes. It's black on tan interior. Mm, I love it. I can't wait to drive it, I've not driven it yet. So Raj, can I have the keys please? Can I have it for a weekend? So continuing throughout our huge sea of vehicles on the Airlift Performance Stand, thought we'd have to get a few more Volkswagens in. We are at Ultima Dubs. So, a few months ago, me and you, we were at Vista Heritage. We noticed a really cool Mark 1 Caddy on the Roll Hard Stand, a guy called Sam. We had to get it back. It's like, for sure, one of the cleanest examples of a Mark 1 Caddy I've seen in a very long time. He's had it like nine or 10 years, and he's just, it's been a slow, ongoing project for him. Really nice to see it here. He was like super stoked to be here. I just love the wheels. BBS RS's, super blingy. Caddy's had full resto, full paint. It's just real clean. It's not, they've not gone over the top of it. It is a nice, simple build, clean OEM plus, on air, on RS's. You can't really go wrong with that combo. What do you guys think? Is there anything else you think you should do to it? Or, as I think. Do you think you should just leave it alone? I mean, to me, that's done. I think you can go too far with classics sometimes, and I think he's got it just right. What do you think? We have to get something a little bit older than that. Our friend Max at Eva Resto, 
has his Volkswagen notchback again on airlift performance and a gorgeous set of BBS E50 magnesium wheels. To me, like, I'm not even a red car guy, but this car in red with gold E50s, it's a look. It's definitely, as Mex would say, it's a vibe. This car is a full on vibe. Real clean interior as well. So a notch bag isn't something you really see that often at all, especially not, you know, laid out on the floor on airlift performance. So real nice to have it on our stand. What do you guys think of the combination? The BBS E50s, the red paint, the like stock, mint clean interior. Max is a great guy. He builds cars like this all the time. He's like the master when it comes to the notch bags and anything like that. Any classic Volkswagen, he's the guy to go to. So yeah, great job, dude. Those are our two classic Volkswagens on the LF stand. Going back to BMWs, because you know I'm a BMW lover, had to invite Ben BMW E12. We've seen it at a few events over the past couple of years. He's even been down to one of our cars and coffee events. Such a stunning car, I love it. I mean, when have you seen a car, an E12 even, with this color? I'm pretty sure it's a factory color. I love it. Again, another set of BBS mags, so three-piece wheels. Period correct. Check out the interior. He's just finished off a custom boot install and he's even got a spare BBS. Do you know how like rare these wheels are? The fact that he's got a spare is pretty damn cool. And he's mount mounting his airlift manifold there with the two compressors. You know, he's not gone over the top of this build, which is real nice. It complements the car really nicely. And he's got a tank under there as well, Maguire's kit bag. Yeah, pretty cool. But let me show you the car. you think of the old school in-car entertainment from back in the day? So green on green, green paint, green interior, what do you think? Is it too much? I think it's a vibe, I think it's really cool. You've got an old school like two-spoke Nadia bar wheel. But yeah, what do you think of this E12? E12 is not a car you see that often. Obviously, we always see E28s, but you never really see the E12, especially on airlift. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Guys, if you notice how busy it is, it's so busy. Like we, me and Jason are trying to walk around and it's just like a sea of people constantly around us. So yeah, this is definitely one of the busiest armored dubs in a very long time. Probably because of COVID, everyone wants to be here this year. So let's continue. I'll show you what else is on the airlift stand. Follow me. Another car you've seen on our channel, one of our biggest videos was a feature on Raj's E24 635 CSI, obviously running airlift, and some custom stepped up Parker wheels, which are insane. You never see these on the 6 Series to this spec, this custom spec. What do you guys think of this car? It got loads of love on the channel. Do you think you should do anything else to it? Or should we leave? I think it's perfect as it is, so I don't think we should do anything else to it. I think it's spot on. We've not gone over the top with it. It's a nice, clean, classic BMW, on airlift performance. It drives lovely. It looks stunning, bag laid out like this. Who doesn't love a big shark, dude? Anyway, if you haven't seen the video on this, uh, again, I'll throw a link up above and also we'll put a link in the description. Check out the full feature where Raj goes over the entire car and he'll tell you everything you want to know about it. It's definitely worth a watch. Let's take a chill pill on the airlift stand for a minute, guys. We've got one more car that we bought up from Hayes. It's Palms Porsche 997 on KW callovers. And it's also got a lovely set of Roeform Tough R's. We've done a couple videos on this car already. They got loads of love too. So you guys seem to like the car. Come check it out. Palms talked through the car, why he bought it, why he went for like the super low coilovers. He's gone for like a real low profile, 30 profiles higher on a massive wheel. It's got a real cool look to it. What do you guys think? Palm, we are waiting for an update on this car. So what do you think Palm should do next to this car? I came up on it on the way up. 
such a nice place to be. It actually rides really, really nicely on the KW callovers. Like, the only problem is getting over speed bumps. He had to pick me up from the end of my road because I've got speed bumps down my road. So that's the downside to callovers, but they do ride real nice. If you're on a flat, flat road, you're, you're good. So I've shown you a static Porsche. Let's head back to the airlift stand where we've got another Porsche, but on airlift performance this time. Check it. Now guys, I first spotted this car at Players Classic last year. It was parked up, I saw it. The color combination is what got me. The green with the gold Eta Beta three-piece wheels. Tell me this isn't a look such a good looking car and it's a 996 like 996s are normally sort of the underappreciated Porsche but he's gone to town on this like the paint's beautiful the wheels are beautiful it's on airlift so check out his little install real nice little install in here but one thing I love is the interior he's got a really really cool custom airlift controller mount in the dash he's got a Momo Pro Tebow steering wheel this has all been wrapped in Alcantara. His Recaro seats, he's had tweed stitched into the inside. He's got a lovely half cage, the air tank on display. Just all the little details, like all the hard lines going to the tank, just done really nicely. Again, not over the top, a nice clean build. Just stunning. I think like a lot of Porsche Anoraks have uh, been in his DMs recently. I think he's like been causing a stir on lots of Facebook groups for like Anorak Porsche lovers because this is something you don't normally do this to a Porsche, but this guy's like Bodge is like, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna make something look cool, and to be fair, it does look super cool. So what do you guys think of this car? Drop a comment below. Oh, by the way, guys, what do you think of the new T-shirt? So, Slam Sanctuary, we've got a brand new Spring Summer 22 collection out right now online. So, hit the link, slamsanctuary.com, cop the new T-shirts. Come and have a look at the stand, I'll show you what we've got going on. I think we've got one of the strongest collections we've put out in a long time. Six new tees, huge bold illustrations, 30 pounds each. Hit up the website, slamsanctuary.com now. Get yours, get ready for show season. Mm. What do you think of the tees? Let me know. Let's ask some of the staff what their favorite cars are on the airlift stand. Dylan, Dylan, what's your favorite car on the airlift stand today? Probably Raj's E36. Raj's E36, come on man, nah. that's one of ours. You can't pick one of ours. Not ours. The green RS4. Green RS4, okay. Yeah, that does it, guy. Pump, pump, pump. Yeah. What's your favourite car on our stand, on the Ellis Performance stand today? Oh, uh, it's the one. Can't be your own car. Oh, why not? Can't be your own car. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. It's the 129. The R129. Can't blame you. Harry Mate, it's sick. amazing. Cool. Really good work. Uh, I believe he's done all the work himself as well. Um, you know, which makes it extra special. It's a banging car. It's a banging car. We've got Raj here, the boss man. Hello, Raj, hello. want to know what your favourite car on the Elif Performance stand is. Can't be any of your own cars, sorry. If you, have to pick another, if you have to pick another car on the stand, what would you take home? Uh, the R129. R129 as well. Damn, Harry's... Love, uh, yeah, Harry's car. With what he's done to the car, the colour combo, the wheels, the way it looks. Sean, if you had to take one car home from the Elif Performance stand, what would it be, dude? RS4. RS4, so you're a RS4. wagon guy. You love a wagon. Definitely. It's, it's a hard car, to be fair. If you have to pick a car from the other stand, I, I think I know what it's going to be. Is it the R129 as well? Definitely. Without a doubt. Have you been trying to buy it? I have asked him probably a dozen times in the last 24 hours. <laughs> the first time he came to our unit, the first thing I said to him, I'm going to sell it. Dude, um, he's only been to two shows. <laughs> yeah, but this is it. As soon as he came in, I was like, do you want to sell it? He will not budge. Matt. If you had to pick a car on the Ellis stand to take home, what would you go for? RS4. The RS4, you're a wagon guy as well. Nice usable daily slash show, show car at the same time. I love the unusable wheels. That's my favorite. Bad I love that.
So that's about all we got time for in the first part of our Ultimate Dubs 2022 roundup. Hope you've enjoyed the walk around. I've seen some really cool cars. Have to say, this has been our best airlift performance stand ever. We've had the biggest variation of vehicles, the biggest stand. I don't know, it's really hard to pick a favorite. What is your favorite car on the airlift performance stand? I think for me, I think it's gotta be Bodge's 996. Such a cool color combo on the Eater Beater wheels, the interior, custom airlift control amount, everything about it is just spot on in my opinion. Anyway, I wanna know what you think. What was your favorite car on the Airlift Performance stand? Let us know, drop a comment. But yeah, we'll be back in another video, part two of Armored Dubs, coming up very soon. So keep an eye on the channel. Make sure you like, share the video to your mates, and hit that subscribe button, and you'll be notified for the rest of our videos throughout the year. We're gonna be going to loads of events this year. We're gonna be going to Europe, we might do Wervesey, we might do Alt Race, and we're gonna keep you guys covered over the show calendar. Let us know what you think, and we'll be back very soon in part two. See you then. Look who I bumped into, it's Jason, one of the co-founders of Rotoform, in a fist bump. What's up? Really cool to have Jason himself here from the States. Dude, how come you're here? What's going on? 